Okay. We are... Going to actually upgrade this. We'll equip it. Go back to putting our shield in this one. Wake up, or you'll be cast. We gotta talk to Ivan so we learn how to use a zip line. Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? They are everywhere. If we die. Everyone dies. Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Is he going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. <laughs> Ivan! Ivan! Calm down. You are asleep. No! I was flying through the air! In your sleep. A harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch and sleep when in your bed. But now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. Go! Alright, bet. Let's go synchronize. <laughs> Very important to know that you can't climb icicles. <laughs> At least, not yet, right? We don't know about that. But as of right now, you absolutely cannot climb icicles. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor! Come forward, and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies, 
and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of, or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Oh snap, party time. Careful with that one. Hey, Vaughn! Sigurd! <laughs> oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. Oh, have you been worrying without me? Ah, oh, and you, salt-cured vikinger. <laughs> I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. <laughs> Rangvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, oh, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. For that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyrtve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son! Welcome home! Uh, father... Tonight, we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyrtve and his clan, and how we may end their terror, once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. <laughs> Through Rusland we barrel down the Volga River. Raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, 
We saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Fornberg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringul. Now drink. Ah, <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> God, you should have let me start. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes, I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. <laughs> Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan, not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. Okay. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. No, he really looks mad. Hytham is not amused, it seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? It is not about worth, Eivor. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and... and training. Please. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred you tool. You make a fetish out of cold metal, Hytham. <laughs> what matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please. Try it on. The blade should ride on the underside mm -hmm. of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. <laughs> I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. <laughs> Alright. Let's get some training. This clan always of yours lead the way. has a name. Indeed. But among the tenets of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it.
Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Excellent! I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. So then... Effie... A decent attempt. Star was supposed to get that wrong. Take that one down from the ledge. Oh. I love me a ledge assassination. That's it. Bye bye. Come on now, give me the air. Give me the air. I love it. Down upon that target from above. Bye. Exactly, just like that. You gonna let me use the haystack or no? Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. They be stabbing the haystack, strike. though. So, <laughs> you always have to be careful. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer her the blade? Surely we have more. Hytham. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy her gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. Alright. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good, or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Aigor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship, our clan, our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf kissed. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be at your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Gjotve, and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit. Shot this warriors. Time to put my blade to so some good use.
definitely should have hit him with the along. air assassination, but this. that's cool. Be my eyes. Let's go stationary so we can uh, find these people. Never was I good at flying a bird, but. Turn to not fall with our report while we can. We can bring Kyot the news of the longships, or we can wake him with Sigurd Stirbjörnsson's head. Which is better? All right. When Yot returns, we weigh our next move. But I am not one for sticking around, hear me? Quit bawling, you babe. They may be drunk, but they're not deaf. Yeah, you're gonna do neither. Where'd it go? Isn't that weird? It won't let me assassinate anymore. Here we go. Oh yeah, we about to whistle while you work. What's all this? know about this. We do not have the men to storm Kyotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Chotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that wailing village under Chotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Chotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. You mean the grown man that stands before us? Yeah, I don't know if I could ever... <laughs> Off we go. No racing the sail here. Sing, my ravens. Run up the sail! Warriors, bring it. When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtve's end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am. Home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtfall from Kurtve. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. 
Hero beseech the gods for aid, for they will be deaf to his cries. And soon, the Raven Clan will feast on his dead! You know these isles best, Bukist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Stevian did not trust fate with both our lives. You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. That makes sense, though. Alright, so... Let's check out where we're going. Okay, it's not too far. Let's do it. The ravens claim no fall for Odin! Raise this place! Burn and pillage! Kaki! Stand on my lightweight while I do this. Watch out. Watch out. That thing is gonna explode. Y'all can stand with the fire all y'all want to, but it's not gonna be me. As I see them, my death never do that. Don't oh, open it. No, that was it. I'm like that dad. You're such a good climber, it's so easy just to like not get in this window. Get 
but he does it. Yes, I'm doing that. Perfect. Oh, I also think there's something over that way. We gotta raid so we can build up our settlement. I guess that wasn't worth it. Bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthor, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. Yeah, you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kyrtwe's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Kyrtwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Kyrtwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harold. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? Yes, why Jesus? Many winters ago, Chatbe broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kyrtwe and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Y'all heard why Our Jesus. men will gather at Flor, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kyrdvis head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kyrdvis stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Dad looks mad. Eivor! Give us a hand! Harald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool... ...or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. This cool destiny is. Oh, and we got some skill points. Alright, so I gotta speak to Sigurd, but after I spend my skill points.
This is a uh, important to me. We want to get this adrenaline shot though, which we're not going to get in two hits. We're not going to get the adrenaline shot in two hits. So and that opens up. At least it's open though. Upgrades. Get your upgrades. So our rations need to upgrade, but right now we don't have enough ore or leather. <laughs> Trigger happy, that's all. Our quiver could use some upgrades so we can at least carry a few, but that used it for everything else, which is totally okay because we have two runes. So let us equip our rooms. You know, um, can this only get shield rooms or this can only get shield rooms? Okay, so those other two are literally just for my swords all right so we got some abilities uh we got it when we got the book of knowledge and there's a couple of books of knowledge out there that we got to get my abilities can be assigned and some of them are actually similar so right now we got uh throwing axe fury y'all know if y'all saw me play god of war that i love me a good axe throw so we are going to put that over here which uses one adrenaline that's why in our skill tree right here we have to get the where is it we have to get the second um adrenaline slot so we can continuously do our abilities so excuse me where's your ladder thing hi Eivor. You missed the opening act. Kurtve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Eivor may give challenge to Kyotve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kyotve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyotve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today, my blade must do the work of Skull's sharp scissors and cut short the court of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga song. Eivor, a word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kyotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kyotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone. ...but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham... ...I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones... ...but Kjatve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. 
All that matters is that Kyotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. That liquid courage that you need. Sigurd Horsum! Slink around my walls like thief in the night. Face me here now. The fight is mine, Kyotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your remnants to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again! Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg as your father begged Wolfkist. Squeal as your mother squealed. Drink your blood. Your flesh will feed my wolves. Watch out, watch out. You will rot. Come on, I totally tried to parry that. Uh, no! Uh. No! Crunch me! Let's go. Feed my wolves! I think I'm just gonna dodge. I'm not gonna try to carry. Because how can I survive this? How? Hytham and I both got crunched, just not as bad as, you know. How is that a bad trick? Yeah, I'm not gonna take chances. Of your doom. Do what? 
Your crazy. father is dead, Gorm. His debts repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow it, shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim! Ravens, show! No mercy! Archers, fire! I need all of that. Oh shoot, it says my rations are full. Oh! Open the door. <laughs> I was about to fight all of these people by myself. Is with us. Now that is funny. Not really. Do I have any? So just go. Let's go. I'm gonna need more cloud berries later. Hammer time. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I right, get over there. How do I get over this? Um, I guess I can go from the side. That doesn't seem right. Oh, yes. I got things I gotta do. Handle my lightweight, please and thank you. Oh. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. <laughs> Let's go, sis. He's trying to burn us alive. Please. His father dies twice today.
Time to get down. rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cup may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing at Ulrikstadir. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Suna. Another time. Gonna bury our dead. We're just gonna leave him right there. I got a helmet. But yes, I do want my helmet off. Let's go. Just walk right into this one. Mm. We'll see if we can find some ingots. Gotta go back here. Seems like we gotta ride that way. Let's see. Stretch your wings sooner.
Let's go do another raid. Hey, enemy forces of the June.
fall of kings. On ocean speed, my words gain wings. All oh, things need I thought will bring For noble deeds thine honor sing The brave man slain Valkyria ways Reward for strain to fall hath paid Then horns resounds the mighty horn For those who fight, for those who fall seen so many ships docked at once. Never, nor has there been a gathering of kings so large as this. about this land, my friend. Show me what lies ahead. I have an iron stomach and a Your bow. clan is Back. a foul stench. But we are strong, and... Yes! You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorham is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. And Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it.
Pass him. Watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father, and escort him to the Longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert it. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stabbing your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice, shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake, and Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his Being unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Don't get cheeky. Gorm is there. In the camp ahead. All right, nice and steady. I feel like even me walking too fast is going to be too much. Before drinking that much. Mind you, this whole thing go? is still the tutorial. Me. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? I'm just going to stay out there, eyesight, as much as possible. Okay, hurry up and open the door. <sighs> Phew. Eve. You are her shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. Mm. What say you to that? Bing. You can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. 
You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. Yeah, yeah. I will give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd, dumped into hell's deepest ditch. <laughs> Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. So far, Sigurd. Let's recalibrate our map markers, cause... <laughs> Tell me Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arms near ours. And we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Ljuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortvi. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrout, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor wolf kissed. You are Kjortvi's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell. ...as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm, and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people... ...have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? 
What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. My fate is tied to my brothers. Where Sigurd goes, I follow. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Harald's colors. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. Survey the area, Sunan. Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The wars will never end! Harald may be young. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harald's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. 
I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages. I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father. That's a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Shut this riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It's within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. <sighs> I guess. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Chudvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you and carry you off to the capital? Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. Let's go. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Let's go. I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Dear Bjorn Jarl, our men were killed as we patrolled nearby. And the word is, Eivor swung the axe. If the dead could speak, what would they say of their what? deaths all of kissed? They would tell you how they offered us insults, and how I slew them for it. As the dead cannot defend themselves, a fair geld is wanted. Fifty weight of silver for each life. By law. Fifty weight? You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. What? Why England? Why throw away all you have for such an uncertain future? Here you could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name known all across Harold's many kingdoms. No. I'll not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart. 
But I am glad you leave this place alive. Sacks of wool? Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back routes. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar hey, established a oh. settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hoog. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! And with that, we finally start the game. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Look for part three.